I could use a good watch like yours. Trying to describe a metro is kind of like trying to describe an elephant when you're blind. There are so many different parts to it, and we really focused on, on one of the gameplay aspects today, which was, I guess, more of the survival horror side, and you saw a lot of those mechanics come, come into the fore. So we have this idea of, of limited resources, be that air, shelter, light, ammunition, and we have all of these gameplay mechanics that, that drive the player to, to try and scavenge for these, uh, th these resources. So for light, you'll have to constantly recharge the battery on your, on your torch, or you won't be able to see in the darkened areas. You're constantly hunting for ammunition for your guns. You have a limited time on your gas mask. Uh, if it starts to run out, it'll begin to frost up at the edges. Your breathing will get ragged, so you have to find supplies of filters. Uh, we've introduced this new mechanic now where you can get all kinds of debris and blood and other hideous matter on your mask, which you have to, to wipe off. This is all like manual controls that the player has to, you know, has to, has to manage at, at all times. So, you know, it, it, it gives you a lot of things to, to think about and be uh, concerned about as you play through. Keep your headlight charged. Watch my back and cover your corner. For us, single player is really uh, is really important. Our focus is really on delivering this this story, this adventure that you go on. And I think what we see in a lot of single player campaigns is the level starts. You're given an environment, but fundamentally the the gameplay is very similar throughout. You're you're funneled through these environments. You, shoot a, a wave of enemies as you approach their positions, they're all poised and ready for you, and the entire gameplay is really just built around the shooting experience. Much of last light, we're really trying to tell this story, so yes, we have combat in the game, although I think we have much more emergent uh, combat experiences, much broader environments where you have multiple ways of engaging the enemy. We also have these, uh, these, these scripted moments, these scripted set pieces, uh, story-driven moments, kind of completely outside the shooting experience that, that, that really freshen up the uh, freshen up the campaign. We have some levels where you have a, an AO partner, some you might be leading, some maybe you'll be, be led a little bit more. We have lots of levels where you'll be playing solo, particularly our, our human combat levels. We tend to break these out into much bigger environments with multiple routes through. You can take multiple strategic approaches, whether that's you know all-out guns blazing or a much more stealthy approach. We'll have levels where you, know, you can get through the entire level without being detected, without playing a single sh firing a single shot if you want to. Or you can, you know, you can systematically take down every single person by staying to the shadows, shooting out the lights, uh, causing distractions. So there are a lot of different gameplay styles in there, and you know, we can only show one thing. We'll be kind of focused on this today, but there are a lot of different styles in there. Artyom is that this character who is immune to the, the psychic phenomena that the Dark Ones are, are forcing into the world, and that gives him a, a unique advantage in the scene that you saw. If if he hadn't been been there, Pavel would have hallucinated, ripped his mask off and probably choked himself to death. So Artyom is a, is a very unique character in, in, in that regard. And so these flashbacks, they, they give you an insight into what's happened before, but it's, you know, it's also contact that you're making with these, uh, with these mysterious dark ones. Metro is going to be released on console and PC in early 2013. We've been working on a Wii U version. Um, at the moment, we're focusing on current gen uh, or existing platforms and PC, so it's unlikely that the Wii U version will come out at the same time as those formats.